I have a dream. That my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I am especially proud to stand here as one of the four children to whom my father referred to as he resounded the American dream. King's daughter, Bernice King, was one of many speakers at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Dedication. The dedication took place last Sunday morning, right behind where the memorial stands. Other guests included Reverend Jesse Jackson, Tommy Hilfiger, Aretha Franklin, and even President Barack Obama. An earthquake and a hurricane may have delayed this day, but this is a day that would not be denied. For this day, we celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s return to the National Mall. President Clinton started the process of making the memorial during his term in the 90s. As you can see, it was well worth the wait. MLK himself stood at about 5'7", but the memorial towers at over 30 feet. Even though the memorial itself wasn't open the day of the dedication, thousands still came out. We came out to celebrate the legacy of Martin Luther King. Um, we also felt that, I think, just based on its global significance, that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We didn't want to miss it. He inspires me to carry on because this is history. The MLK Memorial stands in the line of leadership between the Jefferson and Lincoln Memorials. The actual statue depicts MLK as a stone of hope coming out of the mountains of despair. The memorial includes memorable quotes by King that he used to rally people together. One guest of the dedication who embodies King's spirit was Reverend Al Sharpton. As celebratory as the day was, it is clear the main takeaway was that King's work is not yet finished. Our work is not done. And so on this day, in which we celebrate a man and a movement that did so much for this country, let us draw strength from those earlier struggles. The dedication included inspiring music, like what you're hearing now. The dedication wrapped up early afternoon and left people with something to remember. I'm Vivian Roussel, and this is ATV News.